Hi, Orion and Miles and my wonderful second grade students. I have another story for you today. It's called Becoming Brave, How Little Buffalo Finds Courage. Becoming Brave, How Little Buffalo Finds Courage. Cows run, run away from the storm while the buffalo charges towards it and gets through it quicker. When I ever I am confronted with a tough challenge, I do not prolong the torment. I become the buffalo. Becoming brave, how little buffalo finds courage. And there he is looking at that dark storm cloud. Dark, cl dark clouds loomed on the horizon and thunder echoed across the grassy plain. Suddenly, a burst of lightning flashed across the sky, causing little buffalo to shudder. A mighty storm was on its way. The tiny buffalo was afraid and his heart beat rapidly. He did not feel prepared for the challenges ahead. As the young buffalo nuzzled nervously against his mother's side, his thoughts wandered back to when life was peaceful. Only yesterday the sun was bright, birds chirped, rabbits and deer scampered about a nearby forest. Little buffalo grazed lazily without a care in the world. After pulling up a mouthful of grass, little buffalo noticed his father sniff the air. And following his dad's lead, little buffalo sniffed too. Son, his father asked in a burly voice, can you feel the moisture in the air? <clears throat> Do you see the heavy clouds forming on the horizon? These are signs that a storm is on the way. The young buffalo had never seen a storm and asked, Father, what is that? Storms bring hardship and danger, his father replied. There are strong winds, icy rains, and lightning that is powerful enough to knock a buffalo off his feet. And little buffalo just gasped. Then we should hide? He asked. No, dad replied. We are mighty buffalo. Unlike other animals, we run into the storm. Tomorrow we will charge toward the wind and rain. We will keep running and um, until we reach the other side. But dad, that storm looks dangerous. Why do we have to run into it? Little Buffalo asked nervously. Ah, yes, I wondered the same thing when I was your age, Dad replied. Buffalo run into the storm because it is the fastest way to reach the beauty on the other side. Once you have run through this storm, you will understand. Boom! The thunder grew louder and shook the ground. Dad! Little Buffalo asked nervously, what if I am not strong enough to reach the other side? Son, you are mighty Buffalo. I have confidence that you will make it. When you feel afraid, think to yourself, I am courageous and strong. Focus on these words as you put one hoof in front of the other. Keep moving forward and you will make it. But dad, what if the lightning knocks me off my feet? Little Buffalo's voice trembled as he spoke. If lightning knocks you down, I will scoop you up with my horns, place you on my, place you back on your feet, and the two of us will keep running. Some storms are too strong for a buffalo to face alone. This is why we always run together. But now, you must stop asking questions and prepare for the run. Start by taking three deep breaths. <sighs> Quiet your body and hold your head high. Soon we will face the storm together. The tiny buffalo fathered his father's instructions. After taking three big breaths, he turned towards the storm. An icy wind blasted into his face. Although his body trembled, little buffalo continued to breathe deeply and tried his best to remain calm. 
A single droplet of water splashed onto little buffalo's nose. It's time to run, Gab proclaimed. Little buffalo, you are courageous and strong. Let's run through this storm together. As little buffalo charged into the wind and rain, the sky grew darker, the thunder boomed louder, and the tiny buffalo's heart grew heavy. With no end in sight, little buffalo felt like giving up. This storm is too big, I will never make it, little buffalo thought to himself. I am courageous and I am strong. I am courageous and I am strong. That was when his father's words came to his mind. As little buffalo focused on these new thoughts, he felt stronger. He placed one hoof in front of the other and he pressed forward. After what felt like an eternity, the downpour softened, a golden beam of sunlight broke through the clouds, guiding the way better than any lighthouse. When the rain stopped, so did the buffalo herd. Little Buffalo and his family had reached the other side. A green pasture glistened in the glorious sunlight. A beautiful rainbow stretched across the sky. Sun, Dad said proudly. Brett, breathe in the fresh air and always remember this moment. Incredible beauty is on the other side of the storm. Little Buffalo soaked in the brilliant sights, sounds, and smells. He finally understood why Buffalo run into the storm. Okay, so that's the end of the story, but I have some tips for you. How to be brave and run through your storm. First of all, <clears throat> it says, um, I'm going to skip the first page, but um, it says, take big, deep buffalo breaths. That's the first re thing. Remember that, your breathing tool. Sit up straight with your feet on the floor and one hand on your belly. Breathe in through your nose. Fill your tummy with air like a beach ball and then exhale slowly through your mouth, push all of the air out of your belly. Repeat this at least three times. If you feel your body relaxing, then you are doing it right. Let's do it one more time. Breathe in through your nose, like a beach ball. Breathe out through your mouth. If you do it three, <clears throat> maybe five times, you will feel yourself being more calm. And then it says, think like a buffalo. Repeat these buffalo thoughts as you move forward. Number one, I am brave and I am strong. Number two, I've done hard things before and I can do hard things again. Number three, running through the storm is the fastest way to the other side. Number four, my friends and family will help me. And number five, I can make good choices and I am in charge of me. These thoughts are helpful because they are true. Which thoughts will encourage you the most as you run through your storm? All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this story. Until next time, bye.